Hey everyone, it has been a while since I made any sketching tutorials. So for today's video, I'm going to draw my newborn baby, my daughter Tiffany. She is um, quite sleepy, so that's a good opportunity for me to sketch her. So I'm going to put her down in the cot and sketch her. So these are the tools that I will be using today. I have a box of pencils, colored pencils, and I have this Stillman and Burn sketchbook. I have just put her in the cot. Babies have very delicate features, so I'm going to use a pencil instead of a pen. Here's a close-up of Tiffany. She is 29 days old today and she is much larger and heavier compared to the first live stream video. Alright, she is now wearing a different outfit because I had to feed her and for some reason her clothes became wet and I have to change her so now she is well fed and she's sleeping doesn't move anymore so that's great so I'm going to sketch her using this sketchbook this is the Stillman and Burn beta series sketchbook and this is the pencil that I'm using this is made by Krita Color and the lead here this is actually oil based charcoal Baby features are very delicate, so that's why I have chosen to use a pencil instead of a pen to draw. This is actually quite a challenging subject. I mean, drawing portraits or drawing people is always challenging. Because for people, when you're drawing, you try to get that likeness. If you're drawing street scenes, um, it doesn't really have to be that accurate. But when you're drawing people, um, there's a tendency for the person who is looking at the sketch to compare against the subject. So that's why that's where the challenge comes from. Tiffany now drinks about 140 ml. She started drinking 30 ml and then 60 to 100, and now she drinks about 140. And sometimes she wants to drink even more. It's easy to draw when she is sleeping, but when she's hungry, she will start to move around. She'll become very fidgety. There is a lot of baby fat around. I'm trying to capture the curves as best as I can. So for this part here, it actually doesn't curve into this direction, it actually comes out a bit. I actually have an eraser, so I'm going to use this. If I'm using a pen, of course, I will not be able to erase. So this part here is the eyelid, comes down like this and then this part will go out like this for the extra chubby cheeks. This is her hand, this is her mittens. It's actually okay to buy mittens that are larger or even much larger than her hands because you can actually tape down this part here using some tape because our kids they grow uh, quite quickly so when the mittens are too small and when the kid grows very quickly the mittens won't be able to be used again so it's better to buy a bit larger and use tape to tape down the wrist area okay I think I drew her a bit too chubby and for this part here, maybe I will draw some of the characters. Those are angry bird characters. That's it for the pencil sketch. Let's add some watercolor. This is the palette that I'm using. This is the portable painter. This is now my main palette because 
the water trays on the side that are attached on the side they are so useful so let me just put this down I'm going to mix the skin tones first using yellow ochre and crinocridon red so let's paint over the head Steamer and burn beta series sketchbook it's not watercolor paper so if you want to try blending effects it can be a bit challenging somehow the wash isn't quite clean some of the pencil actually um, came off when I applied the watercolor over it and there is some granulation as well this is actually a pillow so for the other color I'm going to use lemon yellow and new gumbosh notice how some of the pencil some of the pencil marks they are actually dissolving which is quite weird because on some paper um, the Nero pencil it doesn't dissolve like this there's a bit of a hard edge here which I want to remove let me try and remove the hard edge here before it dries completely there is this blank act behind that Tiffany is sleeping on it's a bit too much water here so let me just clean this up if not I'm very sure it's going to drip onto the floor let's color the gloves I mean the mittens and let's try to mix a neutralized tone for the shadows let me try lemon yellow, phthalo blue and crinocridon red because this is not watercolor paper the paper doesn't absorb water that well so a lot of water will glide on the surface for the hair I'm going to use um, the same color as earlier the same color that I used to mix the skin tone and add phthalo blue so it's a bit greenish so we have to add a bit of um, queen of Cryodon red to it I think this color looks fine Her lips are a bit pinkish so let's add a little bit of red to that too much I may want to clean up the hair here as well just to get a softer look Okay, and now let's paint the angry birds we have red orange and pink so let's start with orange and then we have pink which I'm going to use Queen of Crayon red for that and we have the blue let me write down today's date which is 18 of April and she is 29 days old today this is how the sketch looks like I think she's a bit chubbier than the cheeks notice how round the cheeks are at this side and also this side I'm afraid to put in the shadow tones on this side of the face because um, this paper I'm not sure how well it performs when you blend wet on wet because this is not watercolor paper alright so this is the sketch of Tiffany the lighting in this room is not that good so uh, I'm not sure if the camera can capture the colors 
accurately but the skin tone it dried quite nicely and the granulation that I saw earlier it's almost gone so I will show you the rest of the sketches in this sketchbook um, in a separate video I've drawn some on this sketchbook as well as with the iPad um, that will be in the next video so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed today's video see you in the next one bye